Hey folks, I'm Ray Hollister for Ray's drive Through Reviews. As you know on the show, what we do is we try out the latest new items at fast food joints. So I was driving down the road the other day and I saw a sign for Hardee's that they now have a fried bologna and Velveeta cheese biscuit. I mentioned it on my Facebook page and of course I asked the question, did anybody want me to review this? And unfortunately I got an overwhelming yes. So I went to Hardee's today and picked up the fried bologna and Velveeta cheese biscuit and I'm gonna try it here for you guys on the show. Here you go, in the wrapper, a little Velveeta sticker on it. So it's definitely getting that branding out there. <sighs> Can I be completely honest? I'm not excited about this. I'm not a big bologna fan. I'm certainly not a Velveeta fan. And fried bologna, I don't know if they like fried it on the grill or if they fried it in the deep fryer. Uh, but here we go, here's what it looks like. Kind of hanging out there. Egg tastes good. All right, here we go. Oh, I have to like steal up my, my nerves to, to bite into this. I'm not excited. I'm gonna get a bite here. It looks like it's got some cheese and some bologna. Oh, here we go. Oh, that is just as horrible as I thought it would be. Um, wow. The cheese is Velveeta cheese. I mean, if you've had Velveeta cheese, you know what this tastes like. It's very bland, very slimy. Not slimy. Slimy is not the right word. Um, smooth. Let's call it smooth. I like that. Um, and salty, incredibly salty. Everything in this is, is very salty. The bologna is, is pretty pretty basic, except it's greasy because of course they fried it. Oh, oh man. Mmm. Oh, oh god. This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. <laughs> I can't believe I'm eating this. I, you know, I almost... I had some hopes for this. I thought, maybe it sounds so bad because it's actually good. It, it really tastes yummy and, 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 oh man, so good. But no, the bologna has no flavor at all. It, it is the blandest bologna I've ever had. And bologna by itself is normally pretty bland. It's just, this is awful. Um, again, I don't know if they deep fry it or if they pan fry it. I don't think it matters because this is horrible. Now the biscuit, the biscuit's great. I mean, I could eat this biscuit all day long. This is fine. This is great. Hardy's biscuits, right? I mean, they're awesome. Um, and the eggs are good, but <sighs> Velveeta cheese? No, 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 don't do that. Nobody needs that. Every bite it gets worse. I keep thinking it's gonna get better, and it doesn't. Oh man. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish it. This is awful. This is so horrible. I mean, oh, I got some water too. I almost don't want to cleanse my palate because then I'll taste it again. And at least if I just keep eating, it'll kind of like cover it and it'll be over with. Oh, oh. Wow, this is, this is immensely horrible. It tastes like I'm eating plastic. Like the texture it's leaving in my mouth. It's like leaving this coating of grease or something that like 
I don't know if the coffee and the water is going to clean it out. I might have to brush my teeth after this. It's so terrible. I think that Vienna sausages and Velveeta cheese would actually taste better than this bologna. There's so little good flavor, like any anything that like pops in your mouth, there's none of that in this. It's just salt. Just salt, salt, salt. That's the only taste I'm getting out of all of this. Salt and sliminess. Smooth. That's what I went with. Smooth. The word smooth. It's very... Ugh. Very smooth. Actually, Vienna sausages is probably the best way I can describe what this bologna tastes like. It tastes like someone popped open a can of Vienna sausages, ground them up, and flattened them into a patty. That's how bland these are. And of course the cheese makes it just worse. It's an insult to the eggs and the biscuit how bad the bologna and the cheese is. Oh. Finally, the last bite. Oh. Mm. Whew. <clears throat> that was horrible. That was absolutely terrible. I am um, I regret ever mentioning this food. I regret driving by Hardee's. I certainly regret talking about it on Facebook. And I certainly regret asking if anybody wanted me to review this. Oh, gosh. So, again, that was the worst thing I've ever eaten in my life. I'm pretty sure. Let me think. I think I like Brussels sprouts more now. Yeah. I just started liking Brussels sprouts as a result of this sandwich. Yeah, definitely. So there you go. Uh, Hardee's, don't do that. Stop it. Put it away. Don't ever do that again. And of course, anybody who's watching who's from out west, Hardee's is the same as Carl Jr.'s. It's basically the same exact food. I don't know if Carl's is carrying this, though. I hope they're not. Because uh, it's horrible. It's it's the worst thing I've ever eaten. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it a uh, minus 2. Alright, guys. I got that torture over with. Uh, thanks to those of you who suggested me doing this. It was terrible. I hate you all. I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure to like it. Make sure to subscribe. And uh, make sure to mention in the comments what you think I should be doing on my next drive-thru review. For Ray's Drive-Thru Reviews, I'm Ray Hollister.